Hi, I'm Amy Karanik. Today I want to show you how to do some texturing on the new uh, Model Air modeling clay. It's a new air dry clay from Sculpey. I'm working with Model Air from Sculpey. It's an air dry modeling clay. And I've just taken a lump right out of the package and I'm uh, conditioning it and kneading it. And you'll want to have a cup of water on hand to work with Model Air. Um, when you see that um, the modeling clay has a lot of cracking and um, fraying around the edges. Um, you want to go ahead and add some water into it. And um, you can do this frequently while you're working if you find that it's not smooth or there's a lot of cracks or seams across the clay. I'm just rolling it out with my um, acrylic roller and I just want to get a big smooth area and we're going to texture it with one of the new texturing sheets by Sculpey. The one I've chosen is this uh, graphic flower design. So I want to go ahead and get some water all over the surface of my clay and put some water on the surface, on the texturing surface of the texture sheet with a little spritzer. And I'm just going to line this up on my, on my clay and then just push really hard. These um, texture sheets are perfect for this because you can see right through them. You want to texture this as deeply as you can because the deeper you get the texture, the more um, light and shadows will play off that texture and, and give a nice look to your finished piece. From my textured air dry, I'm going to make a um, leather looking type of hair barrette. So I have a basic shape cut out from some cardstock that I'm going to line this up right on the area of the texture that I like best. And I'm going to use my Sculpey Flexible Blade. I'm just going to line the blade up with the edge of my template and cut straight down. And again on this side, these flexible blades are perfect for this because they, they're very flexible and they can follow a pretty good pattern this way. Okay, and there is the basic shape for my hair barrette. I'm just going to kind of smooth the edges with my fingers. If the air dry drags a little on your hands, you can add a little bit of water to your fingertips. Now I'm going to gently lift this up from my work surface. I'm using a Sculpey silicone mat, which I love. And I'm going to balance this on the top of a curved barrette so that as the air dry clay dries, it'll actually take the shape of the barrette. So get that right in the middle and then just balance it this way. Now you can let this air dry. It will take quite a while. I've got this um, pretty thick. I have it more than an eighth of an inch thick, so it'll be strong. So that will take quite a while to air dry. Now when, I, when you're done, um, you'll want to finish it so that it looks like a faux leather piece. And this piece I've already um, painted a turquoise color. And I want to show you how to just real easily put the black details in. Just going to squirt some black paint out here. This is black acrylic glossy paint and a real tiny paintbrush. <clears throat> and I'm just going to drag this right through the textured areas of the texture that I um, embossed earlier in the model air. And because I did my texture really deeply, it makes it pretty easy to follow the basic design of the texture. So you want to just continue um, doing this until the entire design is filled in, like this one. And then if you want, you could go over it with some um, Sculpey clear gloss or satin finish to make it look even more leathery. So give it a try. I think you'll like the model air and the texturing technique.